Hi there, it's Tuesday, March 5th, and time for Proverbs 5. Super Tuesday by some, depending on what state you're in, there's a lot of primaries today. So get out and vote if you're one of those. Let's jump over there, and we will get into it. I'm all about pitfalls of immorality or the warnings against impurity and fidelity. Okay? Now, I think a lot of people don't have any problems with this, but some people do. So, we'll read it. I mean, by and large, uh, most people, you know, in the world have a problem with this. But not if you're seeking wisdom. So, let's get into it. My son, be attentive to my wisdom and incline your ear to my understanding that you may keep discretion and your lips may guard knowledge. For the lips of a loose woman drip honey, and her speech is smoother than oil. But in the end she is bitter as wormwood, sharp as a two-edged sword. Her feet go down to death. Her steps follow the path to Shoal. Or that's hell, right? She does not take heed to the path of light. Her ways wander, and she does not know it. <clears throat> and now, O oh sons, listen to me. It's the first time I've ever heard him use sons in the plural. Huh, that's interesting. And do not depart from the words of my mouth. I'm going to highlight that just because I found that interesting. Keep your way far from her and do not go near the door of her house, lest you give your honor to others and your years to the merciless, lest strangers take their fill of your strength and your labors go to the house of an alien. <clears throat> at the end of your life you groan when your flesh and body are consumed and you say how I hated discipline and my heart despised reproof I did not listen to the voice of my teachers or incline my ear to my instructors I was at the point of utter ruin in the assembled congregation you that? people in church find out about stuff like that and it never goes well We'll just highlight that whole thing. Okay. And if you're doing something, it will be found out. Okay. 15. Drink water from your own cistern, flowing water from your own well. <laughs> should your springs be scattered? Wait, should your springs be scattered abroad, streams of water in the streets? Let them be for yourself alone, and not for the strangers with you. Let your fountain be blessed, and rejoice in the wife of your youth. I always like this part. I remember it every month. I don't like this. Okay, I will read the whole thing. Drink water from your own cistern, flowing water from your own well. Should your springs be scattered abroad, streams of water in the streets? Let them be for yourself alone and not for strangers with you. Let your fountain be blessed and rejoice in the wife of your youth. A lovely hind, a graceful doe, let her affection fill you at all times with delight. Be infatuated always with her love. Yeah, let's see, they kind of dim it down here. The exact word for word, which a lot of people don't like to read in church, is like a loving doe and a graceful mountain goat, let her breasts satisfy you at all times. Be exhilarated always with her love. Right? Let her affection fill you at all times. See how they kind of made that a <laughs> rated G instead of the true words. 20. Why should you be infatuated, my son, with a loose woman and embrace the bosom of an adventurous? For a man's ways are before the eyes of the Lord, and he watches all his paths. The iniquities of the wicked ensnare him, and he is caught in the toils of his sin. He dies for lack of discipline. And because of his great folly, he is lost, or he will go astray, okay? or be lost. So there you have it. That's kind of a short chapter on what not to do. Okay? We don't highlight a whole lot. I found it interesting that he said it, my sons, and now then my sons, plural, listen to me. He never did that before. Hmm. At least not that I noticed. I mean, he may have, but depending on which version you read. It's in both versions where he says sons plural. I just found that interesting. <laughs> Stay away from women. Don't go near them. All right? All right. 
I did not listen to the voice of my teachers or incline ear to my instructors. I was at the point of utter ruin in the assembled congregation. And everybody knows. And then this part, which, which I always liked, you know. You know, let's read it over here in the New American Standard. Since we already read it in the Revised Standard Version. <clears throat> Drink water from your own cistern and fresh water from your own well. Should your springs overflow into the streets, streams of water in public squares, let them be yours alone and not for strangers with you. Let your fountain be blessed and rejoice in the wife of your youth. Like a loving doe or graceful mountain goat, let her breast satisfy you at all times. Be exhilarated always by, with her love. All right? <clears throat> Fall in love with your wife. Stay in love with your wife. Okay? No matter what. You promised. You know, good, bad, rich, poor. You would always stick together. And always be infatuated with their love. So, that was Proverbs 5 for March 5th. So, there you have it. Stay tuned later today. We're through the Bible in one year. And I'm not sure what's happening next. I think Joshua is going to take the place of Moses. So, getting pretty close to the battles and stuff. <clears throat> till then have a good day stay humble love your wife go out and vote today if it's your time to do it see you next time